little bit. I'm in my caravan. I make myself a cup of tea. And I'm going to do some um, some demos um, or prep some demos for the Clarity Open Days and make some samples to put on my desk. Um, I like crafting in my caravan. I don't have to worry about housework or anything else. I could just get on with it. So this is where I am. And I just thought I'd share this with you. Nobody will see this video until after the Clarity Open Days, obviously. Um, but afterwards, I thought I could just show you some of the methods. So if I film it while I'm actually doing it, it just stops me, it saves me having to do it and then film it later. So I'm trying to do the two at once here. Oh, I just nearly got my tea. I love my caravan. Love my caravan. It's so contained. Everything's contained. My house is spread out and so you get a lot more stuff in it, but um <laughs> I think a caravan to some people, like me, it's like a mini doll's house. You can just do it up nice and get all the little bits that you want in it and you turn up and everything's just there for you. So, right, let's get on with this. I'll get my, put my cup of tea down and try and get my camera angle at a little bit better angle. So, just let's have a look. <laughs> It's hard to kind of, you don't really need me in, do you? I'll just get the the table and there's Sky. Say hello, Sky. Do you want to take your harness off? Sat there in the harness, I didn't realise. Let's take this off. <laughs> Come here then. There you go. Whoop. There you go, there. Right. You want to say hello, Sky, in the camera? <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? You've got hair on your nose. Right. So, this is um, one of my demos for the Cloudy Open Days 2024. Um, and it's with the bow wob papers. Um, and so, I'm just going to get on with it. I'm, I might talk over it later, but while I'm playing, I'm just going to do it um, and show you what what the um demo is obviously this won't go out until after the open days has been have been on um but i just thought i'd film it now and then i've already got a video to show people afterwards um so here we go using distress oxides for these So I'm pressing quite firmly on here so I want to pick up this pattern onto the gel plate from the bow, bow wob papers. So this is the pattern which will now be on there. So I'm going to do the edges of this and I'm doing it over here so that this might pick up some of the pattern as well. So. There you go, you see? So where the black is, if you put on the gel plate, it transfers over to the gel plate, and then you get that pattern. So I'll keep doing that. This is supposed to be green, but it looks yellow, so I'll stick with that for now. So again, I'm just coming back on here. You can go over the same piece several times, it still works. I always say I'm not, I won't talk and, and then I talk. But hey ho. So that's a little bit lighter. You can have it lighter if you want, yeah, see. I like a bit mix of both, to be honest. 
And then your, your bulwark papers end up looking really nice as well. Especially when you start using different colours, so they make lovely backgrounds. So let's go on this one. So you can see this is starting to build a little bit as well as a background. And you, it's still good enough to stamp on top of. So I'm going to do... Um, I want that... Uh, do, I, do I need that darker? Not really. So I think I'll come in with another colour. I think I'll do a bit of that, the blue that's on here in the stripe. You can see the centre bit I already did with the stripe look. So I'm going to come in... <laughs> Ignore that. I'm just <laughs> thinking I had my gel plate in my hand. It's not. It's my ink pad. Right. Try that again, shall we? So I've picked that up. And then. Yeah, that's nice. I quite like that like that, actually. I think I'll leave it like that. So then I would just make this into a little card, really. Uh, put sentiment on or stamp an image. So let's find an image. Um, how about one of these lovely girls that Barbara drew in the shack shack? Let's see. The largest one. Um, I'll have to. I use a stamp platform now because I can't always um, keep pressing down with my arms. It gets a bit sore. I'm filming with this as well. I don't know if you can see it anymore. So I'm going to do this in black. You need it to stand out. Might do a couple of ladies actually. Yep, that lifted up. Oh, knuckles. <laughs> Let's see, it should be still be in the same place though, shouldn't it? So sometimes I feel when you're stamping on top of oxide ink with archival, it does kind of stick a little bit. It's not a problem, it's just that uh, I get that quite a lot when I'm doing that, so Jubilee, and there you go. So that's where she is. And then I'll do the other one. Or should I just do sentiment? Let's have a look. Uh, I might just do a happy birthday. Yeah, I like that down there. Happy birthday. So I'm just literally making this up as I go along. for me happy birthday, I haven't stamped it yet. Obviously, this needs a little something else. So let's have a look what we can put on. Um, so 
So I think I'm going to do that and I'm going to block off the bottom where the birthday is. I just have the other girls celebrating for it. So let's do that. Sometimes these ink pads, um, because, I, well, I know I tend to press down hard in the middle of my ink pad, so sometimes it leaves an indent, so you've got to go back in again. Uh, I've spoiled that though. Uh, I've spoiled it, look. It hasn't gone all the way down. And the paper's moved, but I'll find a way around that. I will, I always do. So let's... Um, Let's just see if I can quickly fit her in, at least to the bottom, and then I can sort the rest later. It doesn't matter, it's just a piece of card. And I'm only experimenting, I'm not even sure if this is going to work out this, you know, just the way I've stamped it as well. So, um, let's see. Where's she gone? All right, so she's still in position. I think it's where the natural break is actually. Um, so to finish this, I would do a little bit of, um, well, I think I'd put the birthday a little bit more. I do like, I do like um, putting, when you put a sentiment on, I do like putting it on more than once and making it kind of part of the background pattern in a way. So I think I'll do that. Um, I'll just do it with a, Block. I've got the right way. Right, no, I haven't. So up to the T. the back of this actually I love this stamp this happy birthday stamp it's one of my favorite stamps in a little bit. I'll do the edges. I'm going to do a bit of a grungy edge. There you go, that's a grungy edge on it. And then, so if you remember this background here has just come from this, just stamping on that, on the gel plate with the distress oxides and then stamping on here. Both the stripe and the spots came from that. So, 
I'm going to get the blue that I used before. Um, I'm going to be careful in the caravan. I don't want ink all over my caravan, do I? <laughs> so. I don't really want to put too much colour on here. Um, I'm just going to do some some basic highlighting, I think. So that's all that. A bit like what Barbara did when she drew them. She just shaded sort of half the dress. Um, do. I'm just kind of doing it like that. And then bring these straps down. I know this one's, it, it did go a little bit wrong the stamping, but I'm not too worried about that. So easy to watercolour with inks. <laughs> Very easy. I coloured that one in. I, I wish I hadn't. I wish I'd left it white, really. There you go, so that'll do for that. Get a square piece of black card. There you go, and that'll go down there because you can't see. And you could even put some more wop papers behind it if you wanted to carry on the, the pattern. So that's the ladies there. And that's done, like I say, just from the gel plate and that one paper. And I can use that paper later and then I could just mount it like that. So I'm going to actually do a, one card for each set of Bowop papers. And I'll be taking them to demonstrate um, for the Clancy Open Days. So I hope you enjoyed that method. I hope you give it a little go. And hopefully I'll see you at the Clancy Open Days. And if not, I'll see you whenever. Bye.